Joseph Drex, and I are. This shouldn't go live. With oh wait, it is going live. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> song or anything this is a real show just like the the regular thing is real this you, is great you no know it's well, real um, let's uh um, so cody what are we doing tonight tonight joe we are opening up the box and and the people should be able to see and, and you know what uh joe you should open up a, a live feed and just turn down the volume on your phone or something like that because you're going to be able to see what's also yep. in the box the, the the box cam is really really nice oh, look at this. <laughs> Ain't no messing around. So this this box, <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> if anybody's watching, let us know if the sound is right or close to balanced or something. Make we're definitely sp- like we're definitely like Tom goes to the mayor right now. I mean, it it is very very clippy, uh, but that's okay. Remember remember so- Clippy from uh, Michael Swaim had that show. Ab- absolutely, that is a terrific <laughs> show. On correct. Clippy. So it says yeah. SNES games. It says cables. N64. It says controllers, and it says random cables. I had to put down cables twice for some reason when I moved this box. And <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, yeah, there it is. Up. Oh, let me get it right in the middle there. Okay. So uh, I expect those things to at least be in here. But uh, I could also see like maybe some rogue VHS in here. Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping for a hard drive. I could really use that hard drive right about Man, now. Yeah, that could just be useful. Um. <laughs> Practical. <laughs> uh, maybe some stamps. You could still. Yeah, I mean, they, those never go bad. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> did yeah, you see me? Did you see me almost like? Like oh shit, you know, for a second it was me almost dropping the water on the laptop. Yeah, yeah. not a good thing. I'm gonna put the water Horrible down here. Start. Horrible stuff. Um, I, I I should say something real quick. Um, uh, though, uh, and it's not as much this un this unboxing related, but a friend of mine, Adam Hookie, uh, sent me a uh, a birthday present, and uh, check this out, man. Not only is it a ton of My Hero Academia stickers. <laughs> It's it's all might. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fantastic, man! Great, great show. Great show. That is and, that is a, and, and yeah. Adam gives great gifts. He also gave me this a couple years ago. It's Weird Al Simpsons. Yep. Weird yep. Al and his and you can see right through him because uh, I guess like I guess yellow doesn't just just doesn't show up too well. Oh, he's also wearing a green shirt. I mean, so the green screen's doing yeah, its job. It's, it is. Um. Okay. Well, should we? Let's do it. Well, you know how Come we, on. you know how we unbox things on the uh, the Cody and Joe show here. That's as right. As we find the the nearest bic, round stick pin, <laughs> and then we we give it a good old it's stab. The, it's so. the unboxing tool. While you're op- on opening opening it, I don't think Parkin is on. Rachel Parkin is not on yet. But I am not lying whenever I say I have multiple ocarinas. I, I'm hoping for some solid Zelda love tonight. I uh, I'm not going to play anything. Actually, I really should have not been a jerk and submitted a, a video to you last night for your your, your show last night uh, on Ocarina. It would have been absolutely awesome. Can you play Look at that little Triforce? Isn't that great? That is great. Yeah, I love that. Anyway, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a little z- uh, link. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> there we go. And and uh, the pin is still good. Okay. Yeah, it's still right. Rip open. <clears throat> oh man. Ho ho, we got a surge protector. Look at all those cables. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Now we're talking. <laughs> this is why people tuned in. I just want to point out uh, it looks like Tom's Maroney is on the feed, as is Ryan Smith. Uh, good to have you guys. Uh, hopefully, we can be funny uh, while we're looking at miscellaneous cables. I believe that we still can be. Let's let's get to it. I mean, you need stuff like this. Oh wait, I've I've, I've jostled the camera. There we go. Uh, you need stuff like this to uh, to hook into an old school TV. Uh, the the yellow, not even an old school. Just I mean, just like a mi- middle school. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, it's a lot of CRT TVs yes. use that kind of hookup. 
um, that's that's pretty universal uh, back to even you know the NES days. Um, oh, what the hell are you? This is. It oh. looks like it has like a uh, like a little cigarette lighter on the other end. Uh, that's not interesting but... to look at at all. <laughs> Another random cable. This one says Radio Shack. Remember Radio Shack? Yeah, remember Radio Shack? Man, what a place. <laughs> you, you could go there and get batteries anytime you wanted. Well, you know, pretty standard. <laughs> okay, so we're having a slow start so far, you guys. But I think we're going to... It's going to be heating up in a minute This here. one doesn't have yellow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's cut the, cut the crap here. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Yes. All right. What, what, do they, what, do they, what do they call this? Because it was, it was it's it's the purple controller, but what what it had a name. Uh, well, it, it was a whole branding atomic? thing for the N sixty four. It was just like this like see through kind of motif, and and they came in multiple colors. You could get them in neon colors of all types, and yeah. uh, man, that's that's just classic. I think I, I really I think I remember it saying it's them calling it atomic purple N sixty four controller. I think I think you're right. I think that's right. But oh, uh, and. And we got the original. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the original, and uh, you know, so how how did you hold the uh, how did you hold the old uh, N sixty four controller? Did you hold it, you know, like this, like a like a, a ridiculous person yes. like me? <laughs> Yes, I did. So, so I, I had friends that did did it how it was instructed, where you held on to the middle stick awkwardly. Oh, it's weird. But I, I, I could never do that. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's it, 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 my hands were just too big, and my fingers too big for for touch tone phones, I mean, uh, where I just had to mash all the buttons all at the same time. But it's uh, it, like it. it, it Truth be told, I I love how it it tried some it took some big swings with that controller, but man, it it's a little bit of an awkward one. There's just no doubt about it. Absolutely. Here's some more random cables. Let's just get this stuff out of the way right now, huh? <laughs> just, yeah, we're, we're we're moving. We're moving. Oh God. <laughs> ah, I've got I've got. Ugh, there's like a some kind of dust, and it's all over me now. Ah oh, man. <laughs> Uh, there's like some kind of a MIDI cable. Uh, all right, uh, all we, right. We said there'd be there'd be uh, random cables. And, I mean, uh, you weren't you weren't kidding when you said cables twice on the box. Uh, it is definitely cable heavy. Now this looks like a third party. This is a, this is like your bad friend controller. You give this <laughs> to the friend that you don't really like that much uh, because you're using the first party controller. Yes. And, uh, that that looks horrible. I'm not gonna lie to you. And, and, and so, so if we're keeping count, we got we got two of the uh, the, the 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 ones that the, the two that came with the system. Yes. And, and then we have the atomic purple, and then this is the one for the uh, fourth oh. friend that that really just gets the short end of the stick. Yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, I mean, let me hold up one of or, or both of these guys. Look. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Let's hold them up by the scruff, huh? There yep. we go. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, just this one over here is just garbage. <laughs> you know the buttons on that thing just don't feel quite right. Nothing feels good on that, and and it just, yeah. How, you, how much money did you save by buying this one? Like ten dollars. <laughs> not worth it. I remember buying a gold controller because they did a N sixty four um, uh, gold offering at one point, uh, and then I was like, oh, I want one of those, and then it, it was like super rare. So I, I bought a third party gold controller and, and all the paint started just wa wiping off. Like it rubbed <laughs> off as like, as soon as you started, it was the grossest thing. It was not a pleasant experience. And uh, that'll, t that'll teach me. Was, was uh, that, was that gold controller as part of like a, like an Ocarina of Time release? I know like a lot of times the, uh, the Zelda games release like a golden cartridge or something like that. It was something know? like that. It was something like that, but it was really slick looking and um, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Okay, this is the the most interesting. Uh, this is the the only interesting uh, uh, old uh, thing here that I can find. I uh, cable I could find. I think it's a Nokia phone charger. Oh the, yeah, the, the brick phone, if, if yeah. you will. And uh, man, those things were were durable. They made memes about how durable those things were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, uh, Thomas remarks. Uh, yeah, that's the controller you 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 got from your cheap aunt. Uh, when you ask for a controller from Christmas, yes, absolutely. Uh, I, I stand by though. It always you always had like three really good ones and one of the worst thing. It's just unusable. Uh, and and yeah, it, it it you'd you'd play four play you'd be playing. It'd already be hard enough playing four player split screen 
uh, like Goldeneye or something like that. Yeah. But, but then you're you're uh, but then you have like this crappy controller that is just like, well, I forgot to bring mine. Uh, I guess I can use that one. <laughs> right. Um, this looks to be. It says Nintendo on. I don't recognize this exactly, but it. it I I think it has. Uh, what do you think? Because there's also it does say SNES in here at some point. That this is this some kind of an. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, but uh, it, says, not entirely it says Nintendo on it. Uh, and may- maybe it's just some kind of like, you know, AC adapter, like a uh, middleman thing, you know, or something like that. Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like that before. Very interesting, actually. Um, and here we yeah. go. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> it's uh, the, uh, look at that. It's it's great. It's it's got the dust. Yeah, it's got the 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 dust sleeve there. It's it's uh, a true unboxing. I mean, I didn't. Uh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did did that thing plug into the back of the N sixty four? Was I that a power pack? Power? That maybe maybe it does. Look at yeah, that. That's it. That's it. It's a power pack. So what does that mean? Like, uh, it's is this like a a chargeable battery that you don't need the wall socket or? No, I think that thing? it just instead of having a uh, a big box at the end of the of the cord, it 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 was there, which doesn't really it's not that much better. I mean, it's fine, <laughs> but um. So so Cody, when when did you get introduced to the N sixty four? When what was your first memory with 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 doing that? My first introduction to the N sixty four is uh well my my brother had the uh, Nintendo Power subscription. And yep. uh, and then they send you the they you know they'd send you all these promotional stuff, oh, yeah. uh, uh, and uh, and they send you a VHS tape that just says N sixty four and it's all crazy look. I mean, it, I remember it being really crazy nineties looking like three D computer world like you know all these like uh, uh, squares and stuff like I mean pixelated and everything, um, and you'd put it in and uh, um, I, I I just remember being blown away by by them saying like. See, here's Mario. He's in a 3D world now, and when you do just a little bit of a nudge, he starts walking, and then when you go yeah. all the way up, he's running. And then you can turn it around, and, and, and it's like, this is going to change everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know? mean, seriously, those those promo videos were uh, so great, and I would recommend anyone watching. They're all out on YouTube. It's yes. worth a viewing of these weird uh, you can call them promotional, but you can also call them Nintendo propaganda videos. They're so weird. Um, my favorite by far is the Star Fox one, where a Sony <laughs> and a Sega that. guy kidnap a R&D sci- Nintendo scientist to tell them all about Star Fox 64. It is a fantastic watch. It is so weird. And yeah, um, a good friend of mine and I continue to joke. We, we make jokes about that thing to this day because it's so strange. Great. <laughs> Um, so, uh, okay, we figured out that this this plugs into the back. We also have back here a multi uh, uh, multi out, right? Um, which I think when we were living together, I, I don't know if it was on this console or if it was on GameCube, but we were playing four player Bomberman, or maybe that was Super Nintendo. It was, uh, but we had a lot of fun with that four player. Uh, or, or this is multi outlet, so this already has four actually up front. That has four. Uh, you would but, need a multi tap for the for the um, uh, Super NES. Yes, had yeah. had, to, had to have been. Uh, and uh, so, um, but th- so that's I guess what could you go up? What's it says a uh, multi out in the back. I wonder if that's. Uh, I mean, were you able to do more controllers than four on this thing? I have no idea. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. What goes but, here, uh, Joe? What goes here? Well, Cody, uh, good good thing you asked me. So the N sixty four, interestingly enough, had a port on the front that you could uh, you could get a memory upgrade uh, mm-hmm. to play things like um, Donkey Kong sixty four. Yes. Uh, it had limited, uh, very limited uh, capabilities uh, past that. Uh, there were only a handful of other games, I believe. I, I know there was one, the, the second Castlevania game they made on the N64 had capabilities with that. Oh, wow. Uh, but it was very, very, very limited. Um, and I, I, like many, I was like, wait, I can upgrade it? And I, 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 I rushed out and bought one right away. It was so ridiculous. I, I'll say it real quick. Um, uh, shout out to, uh, to Lindy Everhart. I don't think oh, he's yeah. watching right now. But um, so he was actually the first person who showed me the N64. Uh, one day after school, we went back to his house and uh, and and he he was just like, check this out. And uh, Mario 64 and 1080 snowboarding 
uh, were wow. the first couple of games and it was just like, holy Lord. Now, like uh, truth be told, uh, I, I had, you know, I played PC stuff uh, up to that point in time and it, all of that looked great, uh, but it was really nothing quite like, I mean, it, it just, it, it fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so we happen to have, there it is. There's the, ex- oh, yeah. there's the uh, little expansion pack thing. Uh, the, the game I remember needing, uh, needing this for was Perfect Dark. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is the kind of, the, it, well, it was the spiritual successor to Goldeneye and uh, made, still made by Rare. And, uh, and man, it was so much fun because the problem with, the, the thing I didn't like about Goldeneye is that I'm, uh, I've told this story a lot, but like, you know, I'm a, I'm a trombonist and I also play tuba. I play ukulele. Everything I play is not meant to be front and center. And it's very much a, uh, uh, you know, a supportive instrument that, that, that or all supportive instruments. Right. So whenever I played video games, especially against my, you know, your sibling, your brother and everything, uh, I, I did not like playing against him. I liked playing on the same team as my brother. Uh, and, and Perfect Dark was one of the first games I remember to have, like, bots that you could actually, like, yep. program whether they're really difficult or if they're crap or, or what. You could actually, like, I remember you could, like, program teams and, like, you know, like, oh, like yeah. you, could, you could name a team. I remember having a team called the Piss Ants. <laughs> and the Piss Ants were, were not, were not, horrible but they weren't good either and it was basically like i want a kind of a medium level uh group of people to deal with here and uh the other fun thing about perfect dark was uh the laptop gun which was basically every gun oh, yeah. on that game not only could you fire the gun but you could also it had like a secondary function secondary fire yes and and secondary fire for the uh the old laptop gun was s- s- slapping it on on the uh, wall and it becomes a, a turret gun that just kills yeah. people when you're miles away <laughs> <laughs> it's uh great great memories playing that game that's uh yeah just just fantastic okay so now the rest of this box besides these cables that that uh are not as interesting i got two snes controllers here. oh yeah so i mean th- those now, got in there but then but before hey before glazing over it one of the greatest controllers ever made i mean just perfect design perfect amount of buttons it is just one of the best feeling controllers ever made and uh i i mean there there's certainly plenty of imitators but man oh man they just they yeah, nailed it they just certainly, absolutely nailed it with that thing obviously durable because i mean you know when you're playing a really tough game and you just chuck it against the wall they they, they come back <laughs> exactly. they're fine uh but yeah oh this i mean this there was no question of how you're supposed to hold this thing oh yeah, perfect <laughs> not like the answer perfect not the NC4. Uh, introducing the, the the top bits and everything, you know, or at least to me. I don't. If there was a console before in SNES that did this, I, I don't. You know, there were other older impact. systems. Uh, some of the Atari systems had a comical amount of buttons uh, <laughs> when it was almost a dial pad. Uh, but this uh, this was like the first time I feel like like every single button really had a purpose. And it just, it feels so good to hold that controller. It, it is one of my favorites. By it, does, it does feel good. So let's get all these, this crap here just out of the way. It's just more things. <laughs> I was not lying when I wrote down random cables. That was no lie. Um, I'm not going to lie. If it was only cables in that box, uh, Cody, this would be a real short video. So I'm happy we're getting to some other but, stuff. But here's the, uh, here's the, uh, Here's the last box. And I'm, I'm assuming this ha- it's a box within a box. box Here we go. Box now section. we're talking. This is why they tuned in. Open that sucker up. What we got? It should. I hope it's not more cables. Come on. It's. <laughs> it's. It's. It's more cables. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! It's actually. Uh, look at this. It's. It's a. Uh, it's a bunch of SNES games, and these are not my oh, S. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are not mine. I'm pretty sure. These were my brother-in-law Josh's games. Uh, so I don't know where my games yep. must be. My, my games must be either in another box, which we can do, you know, we can do tons of these. But this is this is the meat and potatoes of this of this broadcast right here. These games. Now and, we're talking. So I need to I need to give a quick other shout out. If we're going if we're going S E N S N E S. So yes. first of all, uh, so I might like many uh, subscribe to both Game Pro and Nintendo Power in wow. the nineties. And uh, the um, the thing that was like the man oh man uh, Super Metroid was the game that I was like I don't own a SNES but man I want to own a SNES so I think I memorized most of that game even before owning it just yes. by studying the guides to it 
Uh, I loved, loved, loved that game. Uh, also, uh, and this is a this is a, a deep cut. I'm curious if you ever experienced this. Uh, and we might have talked about this in the last episode that we did together. But uh, Best Buy back in those days also uh, would do this absolutely fantastic thing where they would have a ser- series of nine CRT TVs oh, wow. up above on the score uh, in the store, and so you could see the game. You could see a Super NES game broadcast throughout the store. It was awesome. It that's, was so cool. That, 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 that's like like the wizard movie, like where yes. <laughs> they got all the, they, yes. they got the, the games up there. Oh my gosh, man. It that, was, it was awesome. And uh, sounds it, awesome. yeah, no, it, 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 no, kids these days won't, they won't know these joys of uh, going in <laughs> and seeing Donkey Kong country uh, standing above everything. Anyway. So, uh, so these are all, except for one, uh, let me show you the one N64 game in here and then we'll go all S- SNES. Uh, a favorite of mine, actually, Star Wars oh. Rogue Squadron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I, what I'll say about that, great start on the N64. I loved the two on the GameCube as well. And in fact, the second one on the GameCube has an absolutely outstanding co-op mode. Uh, that is the, it's the entirety of the first one on the GameCube that you can play co-op. Love that, love that, love that game. Yeah, I absolutely. Like, I feel like you let me borrow that in college and I played it for like a summer. And it was, it was a lot of fun. This one... Uh, if I'm correct, I think it had like a lot of neat little uh, like storytelling missions and everything that basically, you know, got you kind of kind of tied between Empire Strikes Back and, and Return of the Jedi. I think I could be wrong. I, I, I need it to, also I need is to... kind of fun. It's kind of fun to be in the Star Wars universe and not have any Jedi. You're just in ships. And that's yeah. just fun. Um, uh, we have actually a question in the chat real quick. Let's check it out. Um, uh, very good guy. I sing with him in the chamber course. Chris asks, did you guys ever play Blazeon? B-L-A-Z-E-O-N. I, I don't think I'm familiar with that game. Chris, if you can give any context on what that is and what system that's for, uh, I've, I've never heard of that one. You're, you're stumping me right that now. Sounds like and, a, it sounds like a classic arcade game. Blazeon looks like, like Blazeon something you can find possibly, right next to Galaga. <laughs> possibly a, uh, a, a Pokemon. Uh, oh, Blaziken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got, exactly. a, I got a kid that's well actually I, I was probably into Pokemon before my kid was for sure. <laughs> I'm I mean, not gonna I'm not gonna throw clearly, this off on my clearly, dog. I, lo- clearly. I, 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 I support her habit. Uh hey, let me know everybody. Is is it a is it a slideshow? Is it are we are we I, I'm I'm sure you're probably hearing stuff really nice, but are you seeing nice? Let's just put that up. It's there a you clip go. show. It really is. It's man. a real slideshow. Check this out. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see. Side scroller shooter. He says. Uh, Chris says. Um, no, I'm not familiar with it at all. Uh, uh, you're you're kind of into the the side scrolling shooters, aren't you, Joe? I remember you. Playing I mean, yeah. Games. I mean, they definitely get a little crazy. Uh, but my 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 favorite by far. Uh, again, shout out uh, to Lindy uh, Ikaruga on the GameCube being one of the absolute most metal side-scrolling shooters you could ever play wow. uh, awesome soundtrack in that game and it's it's just all around a, a delight uh some of the older ones are just punishingly difficult and some of the newer ones it's just a series that just tends to be cruel for the sake of being cruel i have not played that one um but i mean they're they're typically really really fun i i, I like them a lot anyway uh no i i was getting away from this so uh obsessed with super metroid go all the way through or the most way through high school still don't own a super nintendo and uh and then once again uh, call out to to my good friend uh sold me for an absolute highway robbery a very low price i bought a, a snes and a library of games and it, it was just absolute like he could have charged a whole heck of a lot more uh, and all of a sudden uh, had this stuff and, and it just, man, oh man, it, it, <laughs> finally getting to be able to play uh, the Super Nintendo library was just like, it, it's so good. It's absolutely fantastic. And um, you know, it's the kind of thing I feel like I've showed to the kids and Super Mario World in general is just so bright and colorful and appealing Absolutely. and the control is so per- it's just perfect. I guess I guess, so. I guess everybody had that game. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be uh, if it's not in this box uh, there's no doubt they had it. Uh, I see I see some Mario things. I, I but we're going to we're going to go front to back here. Right, let's go through this nest uh, title so first. So this is yeah. this is a weird one to start with cuz I have no idea what the hell this is. Zoop All right. Uh, I'm stumped. 
I mean, what? honestly, what what I love about Zoop right out of the gun, I've never played this game, but look at this. This is so 90s. Look at that font. Do you think the design team, when they came up with the logo for Zoop, they were like, nailed it. We're going home for the day. I mean, this does this tells you nothing about what this game I, is. I, <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to pull up a screenshot on my phone of Zoop, uh, and uh, and just see. I just want to see here. One second. What kind of game is it? I'm so curious. What Zoop. what do you do in Zoop? What S -S is the ultimate end game? Zoop. <laughs> the classic. And, and Zoop. let's let's go to the images. Um, oh man. What the hell? Is it a puzzle game? Lindy's asking if it's a puzzle game. I it looks like it's probably... a puzzle game. Okay, so this is what we got, everybody. It's something like this, huh? So, yeah, definitely. All right, I'm not going to lie. This is the type of game that I would run screaming from. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> back then, maybe, maybe this was maybe this was for the, the, the parents, you know? But maybe it was also like a... Oh. Uh, uh, you know, it's like it's like Tetris or something like that. You know, the parents kind of dig Tetris a little bit more. I don't know, like yeah, I, like I, I love Doctor Mario, but I didn't like Tetris as much as a kid. So maybe maybe this was something a little bit more for for the more sophisticated it's, mind. So, so it's like for the Mahjong crowd. Yeah. Oh, if and you I did, like Mahjong, yeah. you're gonna love Zoop. All right, what do we got next? I've only heard about this one, but you, you Joe and I are <laughs> Joe and I are fans of a of a. Uh, uh, show on the internet, uh, the angry video game nerd, and I'm pretty sure he's done this one. Check it out, man. <laughs> Batman Forever. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Are, wow. We're we're starting at the bottom of the barrel and going up. Uh, Batman Forever, of course, one of the greatest movie soundtracks uh, ever made. But uh, this game in particular is a Mortal Kombat clone. Uh, but it's a side scroller. It's absolutely awful looking. Uh, I mean, there there are movie tie-ins throughout the ages that just disappointed fan legions of fans. But this is this this is really bad. Well, at, um, at least it can show us one of these things, right? That protects the dust. Oh, yeah, I mean, those, yeah. that that, that dust, So that is actually those, those are those are a wanted item. I mean, that, that that's that's a, those are great. Nice. Those are great things. You got man. I, I heard that. Uh, let me see if I can get him on camera here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I heard that Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey did not get along with each other. Yeah, the, <laughs> they did not care for each other. It's a weird rivalry uh, because why? But it's still they, apparently they just couldn't stand each other. Who knew? So I, I don't I don't know. Uh, I've never played this game. Like, again, this is a this is definitely my she my wife's game com, coming up. So she, she 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 could probably give us more context than I could on this. But I heard this was really tough. Ola, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Lion yeah. King. So Disney was always really great with making uh, versions of their movies uh, on both Sega and uh, Nintendo at this point. And uh, I, I think a lot of people have very strong feelings that the Aladdin for the Genesis is really, really good, while the, uh, the Super NES one is bad. I disagree with them wholeheartedly. I think the, the Super NES one is quite good as well. Uh, but I, I don't remember, I think... It might be very similar um, it, it, with with Lion King. I, I think we'll see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, okay. Uh, now we're talking. Uh, we're getting into some uh, familiar territory. Oh yeah. Now now we're we're coming back to sanity. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, all of the Donkey Kong games were absolutely amazing. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, of course. Uh, made alongside the same time that Sega was making, you know, 32X games and things yeah. like that. And Super Nintendo just absolutely crushing it that entire era. Uh, and those games just sold like crazy. It's really, really good the stuff. The music was great. And uh, a lot of a lot of the little, uh, like, just components of the game, you know, like you're, you know, like all riding on animals, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the double jumps and like, you know, oh, you, you, you catch the, or you get the other, uh, uh, gorilla or monkey out of the barrel and everything. Diddy or Donkey Kong, you have like a second chance and everything. Yeah, but uh, right uh, game. Definitely, uh, definitely some it. rager moments on these games for sure, though. Yes, they're they're <laughs> they're difficult. They're not they're not easy games, but um, man, super fun and like you said, great music in every single area. It's really fun stuff. Ooh. What what's next? Uh, got NBA jams. Oh here. Yeah. So, wait a minute. What's going on here, Cody? So this what, is. So here we got NBA Jam, the original, I think. 
All right. And then the other one is TE, which I think stands for Tournament Tournament Edition. Edition. (laughs) There it is. Tournament Edition. Tournament Edition. Um, I'm sure there are differences. Uh, NBA Jam, obviously one of the most popular sporting games in in the 90s. It was uh, it was a big deal. It was. Um, yeah. Here's a big head mode. Remember big head mode? That was a feature. Yeah, there was um, like uh, there was like some guy. It wasn't Weird Al, was it? Or was it somebody that? Well, there was like um, Weird Al. Uh, Clinton. Clinton, Bill, Bill Clinton. Was, I think was. Uh, I yeah, think, I think you could maybe play as Snoop Dogg, or that might have been a later. Uh, yeah. A later entry, but there was there was definitely like <laughs> special code, op, you know code code characters and everything you shout you know. out to the chat yes thomas you're absolutely right i mean geez louise we're we're <laughs> uh we're, we're dropping the ball the literal ball he's heating up uh he's from on downtown fire. from downtown <laughs> all of that stuff is so great uh, it's really yes good. we we thomas and i are in a gaming group together we play every week and uh if if there's ever anything fire related uh, you probably can best believe <laughs> Uh, that he's heating up is something that is going to get quoted. Um, yeah, and then the music. <laughs> just keeps going yep. over and over again. It's just that. And, it's just that. And and the, the the team I remember being really really hot around the time that uh, the two teams that were like the most fun to play as were the Chicago Bulls, of course, and the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, yeah. I think Charlotte Hornets had uh, Muggsy. Uh, Muggsy Bones is that was that his last name? Wasn't um, he one from Space Jam? Yes. Wasn't that one of the guys? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, he was, That's he the was, only yeah. reason I know basketball players. Yes, is that same. they were featured in the movie Space Jam. Well, that's the only reason I know like a lot of like sporting sport people because like they were in some game that I played. Like if if there's like a football game in here that I I would have played at some point, uh, that's where I knew about like Barry Sanders and everything, you know, or something yeah. like that. Like no, no, so when, when it came to football, I loved Tecmo Super Bowl on the original oh, Nintendo. Yeah. So I knew those. So, but it, it, I think you had a group of people that really knew the 1992 roster for, for everybody's uh, teams and then just didn't follow football for a long time. It's like, is Jerry Rice still playing? Um, yeah. You know, he was not. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. Uh, anyway. Look at this. Uh, UN oh, Squadron. God. Have you, did you ever play this one? I did not, but okay, it's Capcom, so, it, so it's got to be good. Oh, my God. Fantastic game. It actually is based around an anime. Um, uh, God, what is that? Area 88, I think, is the name of that anime. Wow. Uh, it is a fantastic game. Um, really, really, really good. You have a life bar in that game that can uh, that can get knocked down, and then you can come back from the brink. Uh, really, really, really fun. Um, I beat that on my SNES Classic, actually. Uh, that was one of the first games that I, I set out to beat. And uh, really, really, really fun. Um, very, as as most shooters, those, those side-scrolling shooters are, like, ridiculously difficult. But, man, it is really, really nice-looking graphics. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, let, let's stop there for a second and just, like, ask, let me ask you, what game, so you, you said you've completed... UN Squadron. Whatever. What other SNES games have you completed all the way through? I mean, probably one of my favorite from that system was uh, Final Fantasy III uh, or FF6, if you oh, will. Yeah. Um, that is a game that a good friend in high school just gave me, wow. and then I think regretted giving me because it was <laughs> immediately very expensive. No takes these uh, backsies. Yes, exactly. And at that point, I was like, like nope. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, loved that. Uh, big, big, big Chrono Trigger fan. My God, uh, such a fun, fun game. Um, like, it, it's funny how there were just a handful of games in that era where it was just the storytelling was so strong and the music was like, they just they just revved it up to the next level. It wow. is so good. Um, uh, Super Metroid is one that is just a constant uh always i've also um, done that one yeah yeah love that game uh, there are a ton on the system but yeah what <laughs> yeah. what about you what are, what are your kind of you know well well definitely some honorable mentions we should we should say star fox was a good one oh, yeah. and and star yeah. fox it was so cool because it had multiple ways you could complete the game i could never figure out like there was some kind of special like like there's a bunch of like special areas you could go to and eventually you find like this giant whale and stuff like that and and I don't know if they actually included this context in the game, but in Nintendo Power, the whale 
was supposed to be like Fox's dad was like driving this. Oh, this, interesting. This like a uh, spacecraft that that basically moved and flowed like a whale in space. It was really a cool idea. Huh. Um, but uh, um, but I I don't I don't remember if they actually include any of that context in the game. And I remember there being like some kind of like. I don't know, thank you or game over thing at the end of that secret level, and you could shoot like the letters, but you couldn't go beyond that. You basically just had to turn the system off. It yeah, was, it, yeah. It, it, it was a soft lock. Interesting. Yeah. The um, I I know in one of the Star Fox games there was a slot machine, uh, and I don't know if that was the SNES one or um, if I'm make, mistaking that with the N64 one. But yeah, it's there, there's a bunch of like really interesting Easter eggs uh, hidden throughout that series. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, here's here's one that everybody has completed at, at oh, one yeah. point or another, right? Um, the the question though is if you're able to defeat the special levels, especially stuff like uh, gnarly and, and Mondo. 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 Oh, is that the one where you're floating across and and there's the the yeah. little foot football guys are trying to clap you down? You have to keep getting the bubble. Yeah. Oh, that's the hardest one, man. That's a rage. That's a rager right there. So, uh, great game, and those I love those ty- every single time that I go through Star Road and all that. You you just see those ninety those nineties uh, words that you're like, man, how often do you get to see Mondo ever? Um, <laughs> Tubular, uh, radical, uh, I think is one of them. Probably They're all the- yeah. yeah. Yeah, great uh, stuff. And then the shout out to, uh, I don't know if you, if you, this is probably well without off your radar, but I've actually watched it with my kids. Uh, they, uh, they, there was a cartoon of Super Mario World and uh, a group of animators reanimated an episode called Mama Luigi. Um, and uh, it is pretty entertaining. It's probably worth a watch. And I would recommend if you're watching the stream right now, check it out. It's worth a watch. <laughs> Not right now, though. You have to Not wait. Not right now. Just keep watching right now. Come on. What are you doing? Here's a, uh, here's a, here's a, uh, here's one. It's made by THQ, which you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Absolutely. Uh, I te- mean, yeah. Ter- terrible, uh, horrible, and uh, what's something with Q that we can use? T- uh, uh, um, just, um, just, uh, Quilting. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. Quail. Uh, Quail. Uh, I got nothing. I, somebody we'll get come a, back some, to it. Somebody get a Pass. thesaurus. Pass. Yeah. Look at that. You got the uh, the sticky bandits. <laughs> As well, the they were band. called in the second one. They were the wet bandits in the first one. Second one, they turned into the sticky bandits. I mean, we. I, I'm not. We're not going to make this a political show, but the the current president of the United States, of course, featured in Home Alone too. <laughs> Um, That's right. He gave that kid directions. Y- yeah, he <laughs> did. Now I recently, awkwardly. now recently on on my my show that I usually stream, the Cody Henry show, uh, we uh, talked about Daniel Stern because he was in City Slickers, and there he is right oh. there. Uh, yeah. Daniel Stern was great. He he also what he was the um he, oh he was the narrator I think for like wonder years or something like that and he was uh oh, a handful of things first of all uh, uh, referencing the chat uh first of all aaron lady good Mondo. to have you with us um he wandered in he wandered in yes and then thomas thomas nailed it uh with questionable uh that is accurate and that's that's what we're what, what were the first two thq it was uh terrible horrible uh, uh, horrible and questionable yeah i mean that that's that's pretty much on on point with them um, Aaron, great to have you. And uh, it is kind of like a train wreck that you can't t- tear your eyes away from. I find personally, at least. Um, what do we got next? Well, we had Zoop earlier, right? Now, yeah, we had Zoop. Now we have Zool. <laughs> there is no Zoop, only Zool. Okay. Only Zool. Uh, amazing. It's- so Zool was a series. It actually, Zool 2 uh, was on uh, the Atari Jaguar. Uh, which again, if you're looking for a system with a lot of buttons, that sucker had so many nonsensical amount of buttons on the on the controller. Uh, Zool was a little ninja guy um, that was it, 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 it makes really no impact at all. It's, he lives in a colorful world, and it just everyone wanted a mascot yes. in that in that era. And you're so right. Zool was who who made it? That what was the who, who's the publisher? Oh, on sorry, uh, it was uh, Game Tech. Uh, so okay, game tech. You tried, you know. 
<laughs> you, you he's did, no Mario. You did your best. Yeah, you did your best, yeah. Game Tech. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's because there's like what there was also Bubsy and there was uh, yeah. uh, I mean, Gecko and uh, uh, Gex. Gex. Thank uh, you. you 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 had uh, uh, <laughs> Bubsy was Bubsy the I cat. mean, Bubsy yeah. is still Bubsy is still going. Uh, there was a cartoon show of Bubsy. Uh, it <laughs> wow. was it's. It's crazy. It it really they really tried, man. Arrow, a lot of people. Think, yeah, Arrow the Arrow acrobat. the acrobat. Uh, there was, um, I think, yeah, uh, you know. It says here on the front, uh, "Ninja of the Nth Nth Dimension," as an uppercase N and then TH. Ninja so, of the Nth Dimension. What they do? Uh, here's a pitch. Here's a game pitch for you right now. Somebody goes through and gathers up all of these failed mascots and makes a super smash game from all of these failures that they tried oh, wow. so hard so many people's failed dreams uh, all put into a, a super smash esque uh uh game so check uh, check this out we got we got a couple uh we got a couple uh uh, uh game manuals oh yeah the, yeah the, the remember remember over here we got John Madden. We uh, remember who? Sorry, Madden. Is that what he I, said? I was just no. I was just gonna say, remember game manuals. So here's a question <laughs> for you. This, is, this has been an ongoing debate that I've had with uh, uh, with Lindy. Again, shout out. Um, so we always tried to keep our game manuals as pristine as possible. And a lot of times, especially when you were renting a game, uh, it was like it had been dipped in coffee, or it was like as it was so it was just the and I was like. Who, who is like leaving their manuals out while you're eating like, you know, <laughs> something with a lot of drippings. Like what is going on right now? Like what, what a bunch of monsters. Yeah, right. Like you got to take care of your, your manuals. So these, these, th these are pretty well, deserved, well preserved, I should say. Good, uh, good. Um, we got an NBA Jam Tournament Edition uh, and, and the original uh, Donkey Kong Country, Diddy Kong Quest, uh, uh, oh, great. John Madden and and uh, All Star Challenge. So so my brother in law uh, Josh, uh, uh, he was he was I mean he's definitely a big sports fan uh, all, his whole life. So so obviously there's lots of games like this. And then there's a player's guide here to uh, Donkey Kong Country Two. Excellent. So I mean Excellent. that this doesn't disappoint at all. Uh, so like I mean this is ba you know things like this. I mean you how how much does it say how much it cost. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't, but I imagine you probably spend about anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks. I would say probably 15 to 20, uh, you know, but here's the thing that are really cool about those. I love it. And, and it probably has a decent amount of just the maps of the levels. It's really neat. Yes. I mean, it's, we start to find one can... that's not green. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. That's, that's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. Like a lot of love went into that. That's great. Mm-hmm. And and it looks like uh, my brother-in-law or or my wife, uh, whoever was playing this game, put a check mark here. I don't know what that check mark means, but it probably means uh, I did it. <laughs> uh, check mark, another check mark, um, and uh, check mark. I wonder what that means. We'll have to ask them. Parachute. Maybe there was a collectible. Maybe they were they were getting collectibles on the level, and they were ah, they were yeah, checking you, off their progress. You might be you might be right. I wonder if there's a place where there's no checks. It looks like. Let's go to the last level here, and uh, uh, Cruel Duel, the or K Rule, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> open ended. Uh, very open ended. And, and man, look at the bloodshot eye on King K Rule. He's a character on Smash Brothers now, right? Uh, he's a playable. Yes, character. he is. He needs, he needs to get some sleep though. That's that's not healthy. No man, just uh, that one eye uh, too. The other one's possibly. The other one's probably a fake. What was the uh, what were the eye drops that Ben Stein was slinging? <laughs> clear, clear eyes, eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to get get that get that alligator man. Get that guy some bottle clear, of eyes. clear eyes. Um, there's no check mark on this level, so maybe they didn't get. The, I mean, this, this these games got pretty tough. There there was like a, a point in these games where you just got your butt handed to you, you know. So oh, there yeah. you go. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. great stuff. Now, wait, wait, what's this real quick? Oh. My brother, and, my brother-in-law, and wife uh, both worked at Steak and Shake. So there's that. That was an old name yeah. tag, looks like. So we got now. So for our out of uh, out of area viewers, Steak and Shake is a great uh, fast food restaurant. 
that yes, indeed, sells uh, st uh, steak burgers and shakes. And it's really good. Uh, interestingly enough, furthermore, uh, bought up by a guy named uh, uh, Big Larry is his last name. This guy bought all of Steak and Shake. And uh, he's not done a lot of good things with it. It's very interesting. We'll go into this later in, in off air. Yes. Uh, I have uh, a lot to say about this situation. And, Please continue. And just because it's an unboxing and you just never know what's going to be in here. Uh, the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Arizona Diamondbacks, August 16th, 2005. Wow. So look at that. A little, no, 2005. Little were we living together in 2005? We were Cody? living together in 2005 wow. because that was my, that would have been my third year in college. Yeah. And, uh, third or well yeah either beginning of my th third year or, or started my fourth i can't remember but like uh um uh yeah at any rate yes we were living we were roommates at the time and and we yeah played a lot a lot of games together uh two more sports games before we get to the uh the uh the, the big reveal at the end which are oh, excellent nothing to, i mean they're they're good games but uh check this out we got um um the sporting news baseball is the name of this game Wow. Okay. Yeah, look at that. The Sporting News Baseball. And that, that just gets kids really into it. <laughs> that that I mean, title is kind of a, a disappointment, what, isn't it? What is, what is the one on The Simpsons? It's like Lou Canella's putting Go challenge. Yeah, putting challenge. Instead yeah, of it, Bone Storm, uh, 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 what was it? Uh, buy me Bone Storm or go to hell. <laughs> and then, yeah, Bill House is in his, in his house and he turns up. That was just the intro screen. Anyway. So the oh. Sporting News Baseball versus this one's called NBA All-Star Challenge. Now that's a name. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, hey. I mean, it's, I mean hey, compared hey, to hey, this. Hey, Cody, Cody, go back to the other one. Who developed that that NBA one? Hudson Soft. Who, it's the B. No, the other one. The other one. Who who developed the other one? LJN. Yeah, look <laughs> at that little rainbow like it's made fifth and out. So Ooh. yeah, you could probably better believe that that is a terrible, terrible video game. <laughs> but even Hudson Soft, they 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 put out some weird stuff too. What didn't Hudson Soft have something to do with like? Am I am I thinking right? Uh, there's like, did they do something with like the original Smash Brothers? Maybe. I, I there there's some that that B icon is. Is, that B uh, icon there is very very familiar to me. Uh, it's it's Hudson. Yeah, showing up black Hudson's on been that, around. But... He's been, they've been around forever in a day. Hudson was I believe Turbo Graphics sixteen um, did all of that. Uh, I, I I think I'm not wrong about that. Hopefully not. Um, but um, it, all, interestingly enough, actually, even in the eighties, uh, Hudson made a deal with Nintendo to make a couple NES games on uh, a PC. Um, and so made a couple Mario games on PC. It's very interesting. Anyway. A neat thing to point out on this one, too. It says uh, K to A, kids to adults. So uh, that's interesting. And then right underneath it, it does say age six plus. So, so yeah, so kids. clearly at this point, we had gone through the uh, the ratings yes. uh, drama. ESRB drama. And, and, uh, that is, and yes. Mortal Kombat okay. being the big, the big uh, uh, catalyst that uh, got us into uh man there's blood in this game and there's lots of violence we gotta we gotta figure out something here <laughs> yes so uh, a couple of things first of all aaron lady is asking uh to watch a round table discussion about sh steak and shake aaron <laughs> uh honestly uh at the rate that we're going through these boxes you better believe that that probably is on the docket uh, Maybe he would like to join us. Maybe he'd like to join us. Oh, I, I would welcome that. I, 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 truth be told, I've never had the chance to actually talk to. I, I, I've never met Aaron. I only met him through your show. He seems like a great guy, though. So uh, I feel like everybody that shows up to the Cody Henry show, we're all. I mean, it's like the people that keep coming back and coming back and everything. We, we'd all get along. We all, all yeah. get along so well. Yeah. And and so it's neat to hear that. Yeah, uh, uh, Aaron is also an SIUE alum. Yeah. Uh, uh, he would, but he, but we didn't have any overlap. He graduated like right before I got there. So I think he oh, okay. graduated around 99 or 2000 or something like that. Um, it's a possibility. Maybe, maybe it was just a little bit later than that. You guys might've had a little overlap, but, uh, but yeah, he's, he's a good guy. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we should talk about steak and shakes sometime. <laughs> Another time. I would sure. love it. The side by terrific. side shakes were, whoa, man. That was oh good. man. What a treat. Okay. Anyway, okay. main event time. Here we go. Mario Paint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, 
And now you you don't by any chance have the mouse in there. Do you have the, I, the I Super Nintendo mouse? Not in this not in this uh, package okay. over here. But that doesn't mean it's not in one of these other unboxings we're gonna do in the future. Um, and uh, but but yeah, it, it this as he as uh, 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 Joe is mentioning here, this game with the came with a neat peripheral. It was a it was a mouse. Uh, just like you'd have on a computer, and it came yep. with a little mouse pad, of course. And um, or did it come with a mouse pad? It might not have even come with a mouse pad. I don't think it came with an actual mouse pad, but it, it was so fun. Uh, it is so like it's so creative. You can you can do um, you you can animate drawings in there. I've seen the in- entirety of the uh, the opening to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles recreated in Mario Paint. Wow. Um, uh, you can do. There's a music composition element to it that's really nifty. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can. It, it's very ahead of its time uh, yeah. for that. Thing. And the other fun part of this game. Uh, well, first off, I should say how I got the, how I came across this game. Uh, again, this is my my wife's copy. Uh, but like uh, how I came across this game is I think I got like all A's on my report card. My mom bought me a nice. bought me a game, and this was the game she bought for me, uh, and I, that I got to pick out. Um, but uh, I remember there also be. I wonder if there's anything on here that indicates it. No, there isn't. But there was like a a rest game where you swatted at flies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a there was like a boss fly at the end and everything, yep. right? Oh, that's, Aaron that's says he was right. class of two thousand, so you would have just yep. missed him too. too I, I missed you by an, a year, Aaron. It was nothing personal, I promise. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Mario Paint and, and uh, they also had like kind of coloring book things too. I wasn't good enough to get all the animation stuff going, but no, I, no, I did no have way. an interest in in the uh, the music making portion of it because you could uh you know you could you could like write music on this fly and it was kind of neat because i didn't have any kind of notation program back then yeah it was that wasn't really readily available yeah yeah so this was very experimental it was a lot of fun uh and there's certain let me think uh the the heartbeats i think were like the bass like the uh, like acoustic bass i could be wrong on that and then there was like the uh the fire flowers were like the brass section the horn section um, there was also a weird baby sound. There was also a weird pig sound. Dogs barking, cats meowing. Uh, twinkle, yep. twinkle, twinkle, little star. They had like the the, the uh, Mario star and everything. So I mean, uh, and they also had a couple demos just to show you, like, yeah, this is what you could do if you didn't, you know, if you actually applied yourself. <laughs> if you wanted to spend the time on this, this is what you could do. It's, and that's pretty neat. I, I mean, uh, not a lot of games were kind of you know going that road. So I, I appreciate the the level of creativity with it. It's and uh, finally, we'll 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 end with this one. Uh, actually, I've even got a. I'll save this thing over here for another time. That sounds cool. Well, that'll be episode three, everybody. You're you're hearing it. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at yeah. this. Uh, what a Mario All Stars. And uh, so, correct me if I'm wrong. Did, did so it uh, it basically revamped it or like kind of like. Uh, d- gave it like a, a facelift to the old games, right? That's right. So yes. um, what was really neat about this, now there are two versions of Mario All-Stars. There's the one that you're holding right there, and then there's actually even a more special version oh, wow. uh, that has Super Mario World as well uh, included on on the cartridge, which is really nifty. Um, this one, I mean, this was awesome. I mean, it, there are save features on every single Mario game. Wow. This is the very first time that we had seen uh, the Lost Levels. The actual Mario 2 uh, was unveiled here for the very first time to, to the U.S. Um, it, is, it is a fantastic package of games, and um, they all look so good in that very, very warm, you know, SNES uh, presentation. It's a yeah. fantastic wow. cartridge. It, it, it uh, uh yeah so it had had the had Mario one Mar- uh Mario two Mario three and then the lost levels which which uh um I'm sure a lot of our our chat knows this already but they're uh when they when Japan released uh Mario two uh it was just too damn hard and they didn't they did they didn't think that uh American audiences would would uh would go with it so they actually reskinned a game called Doki Doki Panic, um. And uh, and they reskinned it with Mario characters because it had four characters and and you know what one was a very slippery character one was able to jump really really high one was able one was well rounded one was uh, able to float in the sky for a minute and and that's it's cool because it was a game that had n- nothing to do with Mario but all those features have carried over to all these future editions of the Mario characters you know like Princess Peach. And every mm-hmm. rendition, she mm-hmm. she can float for a short bit, or uh, yeah, it's 
it's wild that all of those features, you know, it, it, it just became staples and, and shy guys and all of those kind of That's things. That's right. Some that, of the characters uh, too. Birdo, uh, shy guy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's really, really neat. Um, and then the other thing, and this is kind of going down the rabbit hole of exactly what was going on. Nintendo also in Japan had just released the disc drive uh, where they were releasing uh, games on uh, little diskettes. Uh, and so this was one of the first exclusive games to the disc drive. If you wanted Mario 2, you had to buy the disc drive. And, and the disc drive was really cool. It fit on the bottom of your, your, your Famicom. It looks really nifty. Um, it, they were doing all sorts of really cool things where you could rewrite over these, these, these uh, little disc. It's really cool. It, it, seriously, if you're interested in that sort of thing, check it out. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting thing. But all that to say, it's pretty wild that they took the, the groundwork of some uh, the uh, Doki Doki Panic and uh, reskinned it completely to make uh, Mario 2, or you know, Mario USA, or what did you want to call it? Yeah. It is really interesting stuff. It, it's, it's, it'd be cool <laughs> to talk a little bit about each of these games. I, I, I remember renting Super Mario 2 a couple times, but I, I never really ever beat that game. Uh, but I owned uh, the original Mario Brothers and Mario 3, and I definitely completed those. Well, actually, oh, man. I might have just Mario 1 was awful recent, hard. Yeah, the first Mario 1 was tough. Uh, I, I feel like yeah. maybe I only completed that, like, recently when it was released on, like, the classic NES yeah. uh, uh, the port that just came out a couple years ago. Or maybe even on maybe even on the Switch. I might have yeah. I might have just did a, done a bunch of rewinds. <laughs> You know, like cheating. Yeah. I mean, hey, man, you're you're a gaming dad. You don't have time to uh, wow. to you know hours and hours on end. You gotta just rewind that and uh, make the jumps the first time. You're Shane, like nailed it. <laughs> sh uh, shout out to Shane Presley from uh, Rock Paper Podcast, who is uh, doing a, who's doing a John Belushi. How much for the SNES? <laughs> the 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 games. The two girls. How much for? <laughs> sell me your children. How much for your <laughs> women? Sell, sell me your sell me your games. <laughs> Uh, it's not for sale. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, uh, no sale. I'm like the uh, the owner of that uh, uh, that shop in Gremlins. He's not for sale. <laughs> yeah, so don't just walk out with the SNES because you never know what could happen. You, yeah, if you uh, feed them after play, midnight. If you, if you play it after midnight. Uh, let's see. There was uh, I remember specifically. I mean, all three games had uh, warp zones, but uh, I remember a man. I remember an older friend, and I I hate that I can't remember her name, but it was like you know, 30 years ago, uh, oh, yeah. I remember her coming over and she was like probably around my mom's age and she's like, Ooh. check this out. And she, you know, on the, on world one, two, where you, uh, uh, she showed me where the warp zones were and oh, I was yeah. like, what, you know? So, and and uh, it's like, wow, I, did, I had no idea. Right. You know, it's, uh, I don't know if you, did you ever see the wizard whenever it was, you know, just coming out or anything? Yeah. Uh, because I remember, uh, just seeing a video game in a movie was such a big deal. Now, that movie is awful. Uh, and in fact, <laughs> if anyone wants to go revisit that movie, I would highly recommend checking out the riff tracks of The Wizard. It is very funny. Fred, uh, Fred Savage and Christian Slater. Yes. We're and the only two uh, actors that I can Bo, remember. Bo Bridges um, was the dad. Yes. Um, uh, who was he? He was also in, what other show was he in? Northern Exposure, maybe? Or, or? I, I, it's, sure, that sounds great. Uh, but then... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, but like then just a lot of randos and uh, it's very interesting. It sounded like, you know, Nintendo really wanted to promote their stuff and it just, it was such a misfire. It, it did not work out well. Man, what, what about that, that, that weird host, huh? Oh yeah. When they, when they host, unveiled the, come on my pretties. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> they got he's a whole just, new game, you know, man, he was super yeah, into it, wasn't he? He's great. He's really great. <laughs> Wonder what he's uh, doing these days. We gotta look him up sometime, huh? Chat, I'm chat, afraid... look up, look up that guy. You, I want, I want to know if he's still breathing. <laughs> they make some really good jokes in the riff tracks, man. Seriously, that is, that is one of the best uh, that they've ever released, Not, in my opinion. It's so ben, funny. What a that movie had so much product placement in it. Not only oh, with my the God. games, but also Universal Studios, right? Yes, they go to Universal at one point. Uh, they do King the, Kong um, the King Kong ride. Uh, it is, it's great. It's just dripping in, in, in uh, product placement the entire time. And, uh, yeah, and then of course, just entire montages of NES stuff. Uh, it, they, they call the hotline. 
they called the NES hotline for for a good <laughs> yeah. amount, which is so expensive and it's just to call. Cu- I feel cubicles of people, uh, not even cubicles, just like they actually had real rooms. But but it's like the people yeah. were like in there, like yeah. he's got the he's got the like you know he's chewing on the pencil, he's got the 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 old uh, 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 so recorded phone and everything. He's like, yeah yeah, you're gonna want to do this, blah blah blah, and everything. And yeah, it's like, wait a minute, which level are you on in Simon's Quest? Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna want the rib, and then you're gonna need to get this. And this game is terrible. You get the uh, the oak shield or oak yeah. oak steak or yeah. Um, it's like, don't play Simon's Quest. That's my tip. <laughs> yeah, that's my tip to you, kid. Um, speaking of, I mean, you would have had to have called the Nintendo head, uh, uh, hotline or even had Nintendo power to know about where the warps were in Mario 3 because that's – how the oh, hell yeah. could you have figured out yeah. that? It's like World 1-3 and it's uh, – or 1-2 or something like that, but it's basically – you. oh, it's definitely World 3, 1-3. It's World 3, and, yeah. And, and it's uh, – you, you press you, down on the white block. Yeah, you drop white through block, the block. You, you hold down for like five seconds, and then you drop behind the scenes, and then you you run to the end. How the now, heck? Is, yeah, there, it is very cool. I remember showing it to my son for the first time, and he was like, "Whoa!" And I was like, "Yeah, that is really cool," because you were not expecting that at all. Uh, <laughs> but it's it, there's no way to know that. It is very arbitrary in the in an old school kind of way. Um, Shameless plug again uh, for another show on YouTube. Uh, the Gaming Historian has a 50-minute uh, video on Mario 3, and it is so interesting to find out how Nintendo basically approached uh, tapping uh, Mario 1 and 2, basically. Wow. How, how, how did they actually make the best? Like, And, that, and that's, that's kind of Nintendo's thing of just like when they release a Mario game, it tends to be like Mario 64. It's incredible. It's so yeah. good. Um, it, so it's it's very very interesting just to kind of hear how they did it and and how they actually pulled it off. It's we'll, really cool. We'll, we'll get, yeah, and, and and like the power ups, giving giving people the freedom to fly in any game where oh, you're yeah. used to being Crumb. grounded is such. I mean, and they they find ways of you know making sure it's not overpowered in all the Mario games. You know, you're not just flying around crazy and everything. Like even the cape in Mario World, you know, eventually you got to come back down. But like, right. uh, but the. Uh, um, uh, yeah, Raccoon Mario and everything in uh, uh, in uh, uh, Mario Three. You know, just just you know, you fill up a the 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 P meter, which is that is that power, I guess, or something like that. Or I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. And and yeah. And, uh, and then you're you know you know like it starts it starts playing this trill between two notes, and you're like, holy crap, I'm flying. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, <laughs> and and I mean, we would be remiss if we didn't mention, of course, uh, Karibo Shoe. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Goomba shoe that you wear at one point, you only wear it for one stage and you, you're immune to, uh, uh, those little choppy guys. Uh, it, it's, it's a, it, there's so many delightful things throughout that game that it's, it's, it's one of the best on the system. It's an incredible game. Now on the, uh, on the original Nintendo, I didn't, I don't think I had one for, well, maybe I did have one for Super Nintendo, but I had, did you ever have the Game Genie? Oh Yeah. The game genie, oh, yeah. uh, so like a game genie was like a lot of fun for Mario Three, because you could uh, pretty much either start up with the power up or you could stay in that power up like the whole time. But the the specific one that you wanted to always put in, uh, and and for those of you who don't know, game genie was like an attachment that went like onto the game, and then you put the game genie in uh, or in first, and the game was like really hanging far out. Uh, and then you had a uh, you know you had a book. About the same size as this uh, this Diddy Kong uh, thing, and it, it basically you looked up the game like a phone book, and then like Skywalker. I remember being one of the codes you put in. Okay, so you look it up, you put in the code, and Skywalker allowed you basically jump, 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 and you could just basically skip the whole level like just by jumping over the top of the yep. whole thing. So you could you could just Skywalk the whole way. And I remember that being a real fun, like liberating way to play the game after all the all the. Uh, uh, boundaries had been set you know so after you've actually beaten the game then go back and play with that that was a lot of fun for me yeah so great i mean especially on the nes i never had a game genie for the any other system i know uh game shark continued on doing a very very similar thing where uh you know it, it, it was letting people cheat even into like playstation era and all of that i don't know if they're still doing that they might um but um it, like definitely in the nes it was just a heck of a thing to basically be like I'm just going to beat all these games that I've never been able to beat because they are nearly impossible. <laughs> and uh, it, it's it's just very, very cool to actually just essentially recode the game 
so that you know whenever a um, a number goes down, you lose a life. It it, it re does not register. It's really interesting that you're essentially reprogramming the game in real time. Cool stuff. Yeah. Well, Joe, I think we did it. We we got every we got oh, yeah. everything in the box. It, I don't know what the hell this is. It's just trash. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Nobody uh, tunes in for trash, Cody. Come on. Well, I mean, they tr they tune in for Zoop. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Zoop was a heck of a leadoff. Zoop, man. Uh, he started strong it's, with it's Zoop. Zoop. It's Zoop again. Zoop. <laughs> <It's Zoop. laughs> Uh, shout out to uh, 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 Billy Madison, uh, the deleted sequence where <laughs> Billy know. asks uh, Norm McDonald, he's like, man, that that poop smelled weird. Is that your poop, Frank? And he's like, no. And he does darty eyes. <laughs> it clearly is. Uh, uh, that didn't make the cut into Billy Madison. No, it didn't. Uh, also, the uh, pecan pies, pies best served heated. Uh, also didn't make it in, which is one of my favorites that they left out. It was it was a couple additional verses to the, uh, uh, um, no one can stop you if you try. Don't yeah. I have a nice rock? Yeah. You know, they, there yeah. was definitely one where the fat kid, and, and that's that mean I realized, but he was like jumping up and down, and I remember that being very funny. And then um, after, do, uh, does anyone have any gum? Uh, someone <laughs> handed him a piece of gum, and he's just like chewy. <laughs> um, yeah, was that is, extra? Yeah, right. It, that got cut as well, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I, but do, yes. I don't remember the chewy thing, but I, but, I mean, I remember it because I watched the extras on the DVD, but, but I don't remember that being in the original movie. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> man, uh, man. Speaking of games, what was it? Mortal Kombat for the Sega Genesis is the best game the best. of all time. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, you, 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 can, you want to continue? Yeah, that I disagree. Uh, it, it is a very good game, but I, I, Donkey Kong is the greatest game ever. Donkey made. Kong sucks. You don't. You suck. <laughs> hey, kid, it's hey very... kid, can I get your? Uh, uh, can I have your? Uh, uh, I'll trade snack you this pack. for a snack pack. Yeah. <laughs> I'll trade you my banana for your snack so, pack. You realize I could destroy you, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, uh, and, of course, then, uh, you know, the puppy that lost its way. And, uh, it's like, you know, the, Miss Libby, the thing that I don't like about this story is that he, the, the kid gives up after an hour. You know, he's got a pet. You've got a responsibility. You get you don't just sit on your porch like a goon. You get your ass out there and you find that fucking dog. <laughs> and uh, this is the, the stream is officially PG-13. We dropped our one uh, F-bomb. One F-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, everybody. Yes. Um, uh, so uh, as we uh, in, well, let's end the show like we did last time. Uh, what what are you watching right now, Joe? And what do you, pl uh, what are you, you know playing? What? So if um, uh, are you a couple weeks back, Back, uh, I had mentioned that I was uh, I was going back through Arrested Development, um, and I crossed into season four. Uh, it's tough, man. It's tough, <laughs> man. Oh, man. I, I I love a lot of the people that are involved in that show. Uh, it's nothing personal. It's just the flow is not. They, they obviously, it's just not there. They obviously uh, couldn't get everybody in the same place because after that show aired. All those people just blew up. I mean, Jason Bateman yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. had like, a, and Michael Sarah did his own thing. Uh, of course, uh, uh, help me out. Who played Joe Bluth? Uh, well, it's uh, uh, Will uh, Will Arnett. Uh, Arnett. Arnett. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, so uh, like they, they all just like took off, and uh, yeah. and and rightfully so. There it was such a talent, and, and of course David Cross, such a talented yeah. cast. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Tambor. I just recently watched City Slickers. I mentioned earlier, yeah. and, and he's, he's the, in there. He's the manager. He's yeah. And, and and you know what? It's, uh, not to get away, real quick. Uh, man, oh man, City Slickers. So the the thing that I think I posted in the chat the other night. Uh, I love, and we should probably do a segment about this anytime we do an episode. Animated intros in a movie. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas. One of my favorite things. City Slickers. Yeah, so love it. Come to mind. <laughs> now, now, uh, as a kid, you almost are sad when the animated intro ends. But seeing it now as an adult, I'm like, oh, my God, I love this. It's so I love good. this so much. Uh, it's so silly. It's such a weird cartoon thing of a, of a cow, a bull, like, punting him through a goalpost at one point And, like, oh, great, so great I'm, stuff. I, I love that. I must have watched that movie so much as a kid uh, and loved that opening scene so much because uh, when we were watching it the other night, I was, I, I was I sang along with the whole 
orchestral like soundtrack you know it's a solid theme it's not it's good yeah like a little waltz section and everything and it's so good the harmonica it's it's so good uh it's that's a yeah and and the other one i mentioned of course christmas vacation but i i mean yeah um yeah so where where were we you were you were talking about you were getting through arrested development what what else thank you so the other big one thank you for getting uh bringing us back around it's easy to get off on a tangent in the uh, with you did a lot of heavy lifting there cody so (laughs) the um the other one that i've been really tempted to jump over to and i've been really enjoying it uh, is Big Mouth on um, on Netflix? I don't know if you've watched anything with it. Uh, I have. To- I've, I'm all caught up. Have you watched it at oh, all? No, no. So I'm five episodes in, and I love it. I absolutely it's, love it. It's it, a it's a great it's a great show, and uh, and and um, it's it's funny. Uh, J- uh, Kroll, uh, what's his what's Nick Kroll? His, Nick Kroll, yeah, is yeah. great in it, and of course, uh, and Aaron, one of Aaron Lady, who's in the chat, his one of his favorite comedians. Uh, uh, help me out. Uh, that plays Andrew. Ah, shit. What's his uh, name? John Mulaney? Johnny Mulaney. John, John Mulaney, of yeah. course, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, he's really kind of taking the the uh, uh, the torch as far as, like, that clean comedy that's just so great, you know, man. But, uh, um, like, the Jerry Seinfeld torch, you know, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, the, both those – yeah, all, all and, and who who else just kills it in that is uh, uh Jason Maya, Manzukis and uh, and, and uh, Maya Rudolph. Every time yeah, she speaks, it's funny. like oh, I love it. Like the yeah. she's she's such a great voice actress and uh, um and and the 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 amount of personality she gives the uh, hormone monster uh, yep. monstrous and everything is so good. So if you're so not, I, if I, you're, I that's not a spoiler. I've now met that character. I think she she's introduced a couple episodes in yeah. and, and very funny. Uh, it, it, I mean, it just the amount of jokes, and I always love this. There, there are a handful of shows that just joke, joke, joke. Just it, it's it's really uh, dense with just like on to the next thing, on to the next thing. Like you cannot be doing this on the side. Like actually watch this show uh, very, very, very actively and not passively. And, and um, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and uh, um, yeah, if, if you're not familiar with the show, it's it's it's, it's worth watching. Basically, it's it's kids during. Uh, uh, around the time of puberty, and it's yes. imagine the movie uh, Little Monsters, except for uh, it's a lot funnier. And uh, and <laughs> Little Monsters sa- starring Fred Savage and Howie Mandel. and uh, Howie Howie Mandel. It, yes, Big Mouth <laughs> has a lot less Howie Mandel. And basically, they have these these hormone monsters that basically guide them through things, and, and and lots of other characters. And essentially, the show at least has one musical number per episode, which is a lot. And I love that that it's, that. It's, that right. makes me happy. It, yeah. it, it's it's kind of like a throwback to when The Simpsons would would do that sort of thing. Yeah, like I, I really appreciate it whenever uh, animated shows have have musical numbers. It's great. Well, what what so uh, Big Mouth and Arrested Development? Are you watching anything else? Those are the big things right now. What are you watching? I am. Uh, I'll I'll tell you what I'm con- like, media wise, what I'm consuming right now. I am uh, uh, on the watching side. Um, I just finished My Hero Academia. I watched all the uh, so uh, all the way through the fourth season, which means I on Hulu I had to watch uh, subtitles, which I'm getting. You know, man, that's a uh, it's a it's it's a it's it's a lot of fun to watch uh, uh, subbed anime. Uh, dubbed anime is, it, it <laughs> makes it a little bit easier to think, but but even when I watch English, you know, now I, I have to you have to have the subtitles for me at least. Yeah. It's, it's it you there's so many things you don't catch when you don't have that. Uh, so yeah, that that show is great. Um, uh, man, a couple. That's probably the most intense season of the whole thing. Um, yeah. After I finished that, my uh, friend Adam Hookie uh, suggested watching this uh, anime called Parasite that I'm currently in the middle oh, okay. of, and and basically it's uh, it's um, this alien race uh, is trying to take over Earth, and uh, and one of them uh, uh, while trying to infect somebody. Uh, the guy like ropes off his arm and everything, and uh, it be- it basically becomes an appendage. It's really, really kind. It's kind of creepy, and, okay. and, and and the uh, the uh, cliffhangers at the end of every episode is a lot better than the actual show is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, uh, but I mean, yeah. I, I mean, at least for me, uh, in my, my opinion. Uh, and two, then two other quick little things. First of all, our 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 chat is so far behind, and I'm sorry for all of our viewers that are still with us. 
uh, Aaron Lady, just point out the Catch Me If You Can has a great animated intro. Oh, yes, that is, that is a really good one. Uh, if anyone else knows any other animated intros, I love those. Like I, I legitimately, I'm a big fan and I, I'm only thinking of three. So I'm a big fan of three movies. Uh, <laughs> so the, um, two, two other quick things. I did restart Trigon recently again. Uh, and that is an absolute blast. Very, very fun watch uh, from, from top to bottom. Uh, it gets a little heavy at the end like a lot yes. of animes do. Yes. Uh, yeah. And all, then the, the other one- I, is at the front, yeah, for sure. Yes. And then the other big one is that I've heard um, uh, rumors that there's gonna be a live action Cowboy Bebop that's actually pretty good. Uh, so I've, I've been meaning to actually get back to that and, and rewatch uh, because it's been a long time. I love <laughs> I, I that mean, show. All, all, the, all, the, all the live spinoffs, of, or yeah, all the live versions of uh, Netflix movies that they've done based around anime have been a little rough so hopefully yeah not not great but, but netflix is good about like re, about learning from their mistakes so hopefully that's the case um the other thing i'm i'm uh i'm i actually bet isn't this awful i i had a really poor internet connection on wednesday so uh i had to resort to to being productive and then after being productive reading uh <laughs> which, reading which, a book which, no cody but it had pictures in it, so don't worry, everybody. Uh, it was uh, I, I'm in the middle of Compendium Three of The Walking Dead, and it's a, it's an excellent series. Uh, the uh, the the show I was really excited about the show, but I've lost interest in the show these yeah. last couple seasons. They, it's like it was very obvious at some point that they they were gonna catch up to the comic book too early, kind of like the you know a la Game of Thrones, right? And they just didn't yes. know yeah. they didn't it, like they didn't know how to handle things towards the end. So like uh uh but the books holy crap man there's there's it you sh there's not a lot of spoilers like in the book that don't that that uh happen in the show or th there's so many different things it's like it's like reading a like an altered dimension of it you know like there's characters that survive a lot longer in the book than the or or maybe they died off sooner in the in the show so uh right. but but it, it's it's really good and and one of my favorite characters in it, the uh, the Negan character is just so much fun to uh uh hmm. you know like there's there's a start of one chapter is in like okay everybody listen up we're about to go to war and then like it, it basically like zooms out and he's got a ping pong table and he's getting ready to like you know you know it's just it's just funny man like like yeah. uh Robert Kirkman is a very funny writer and uh uh and it, there's light hearted I'm not going to lie I I feel like stuff. What I, I mostly hear from that is incredibly serious. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if tonally the show just kind of got away from that like lightheartedness the from time to time. The show has or... no humor at all now. All right. Except yeah. except for except for when uh, the Negan character came in and and no. there's but but even then the, the book Negan is just so much so much more fun. Um, but uh, but yeah that that's that that's kind of it for me as far as like what I'm, I'm watching and other than that I'm like watching uh like. Me and my wa my wife uh, has trouble staying up late, yeah. so so we'll watch half a movie and then we'll finish it the other night. So we, we're in the middle of the other guys with Will Ferrell, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Will Ferrell and uh, sorry, help me out, uh, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Marky Wahlberg, Marky Marky Mark Wahlberg, and 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 we're loving that. We're only halfway through, but we're we loving that right, right now. So I I didn't know what to expect from it because, but uh, but uh, it's directed by what is the name? His name Adam. Uh, uh, one of the guys that does a lot of the, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, the, it's the guy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He, they, they, he went from making, you know, step brothers and everything and now actually makes, um, uh, like legitimately like Oscar contender movies. And, yes. uh, I'm trying to stall to think of his name and it is just completely eluding me. Yeah. And if I stayed on the chat for another three minutes, yeah. somebody yeah. probably would point it out. Yeah, this time I'm not going to hit stop recording when we're done. I'm going to hit stop streaming, but I'll hit, I'll let the, the recording go. Just That's for great. another fifteen minutes, because we it, gotta figure this stuff out, huh? I don't know yeah. why it's doing that, but uh, but uh, either way, I mean, I'm looking at my FPS right now. It's like twelve. <laughs> it's rough. It's rough. It's a real slideshow, everybody. That's uh, right. Uh, so as soon as I hit stop scre streaming, uh, it's just gonna cut out for the people in the chat. They'll have to go to YouTube if they wanna check that out. Uh, so. Um, but but that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I yeah. guess. Got, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Yes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our conversation. 
there, there are more of these to come down the road. We will find content to fill this time. <laughs> I vow to you all right now. Uh, and it, and hopefully if you if you stick around it you're you're gonna get a laugh or two. Here is the here is the the spoiler for next time. Okay, uh, don't say anything, Joe. Yeah. It's off camera. Nobody can see it, but no one can see it. You know what it is, though, and uh, I know exactly what it is, and I'm very. <laughs> I can't wait to, to tell that story. I can't wait to tell yep. the story about about the first night I ever got drunk and that game. Uh, all right, everybody, that's that's it. Uh, thank you so much, Joe. Uh, uh, this has been a lot of fun. We'll do this in the future. Oh, I've got great. at least three other boxes. Maybe we could also let you unbox something at some point. We need to have some more. I might have a couple sharing. boxes. Uh, yeah. You know, there there are a couple video game boxes that are actually coming my way. Uh, and uh, and so I'm, I, I would love to just look through some of the, uh, it's a trip down memory lane of a bunch of older stuff. That's It's a ton of fun to look at. So. Oh, man. Well, can't wait. Can't wait to see it. Um, well, man, uh, I think that's all we got, everybody. Yep. Uh, Aaron also says, honey, I shrunk the kids. I wonder what that's in reference to from like a million I'm sure minutes it's, ago. it's probably another uh, animated intro. And truth be told, I don't remember. I don't remember that one at all. Um, uh, the intro. I th- oh, it's, it seems familiar. Animated intros, man. Just, yeah, a lot, lot of movies did that. Uh, uh, and, and, that and, and as a kid, that was like often my favorite part of the whole thing. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, See, well, that's what I'm saying. Like you almost are, you're almost let down. I think my my kids actually have been let down by uh, Christmas Vacation because they're like, sweet animated Christmas movie, here we go, and then it stops again. being animated, and you're just like, they're like, what? <laughs> I, 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 you know, my my my, my kids uh, really actually they seem to like that movie. There's a lot of funny scenes. They love the dog and the cat and the squirrel. Oh, you know, so yeah. all, all the animal stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they, yeah, that's a, that's one of those movies. I think it doesn't matter, you know. You, it, there's yeah. just there's just funny stuff in there. Um, so funny. All right, everybody. Well, take care. Thanks a lot, Joe. We'll we'll get back. Uh, might be another two weeks. Might be one another uh, week from now. I'm not sure, but just uh, who knows. Uh, if Stay you, tuned to if, find more. If you have if you haven't liked the uh, Cody Henry Show uh, Facebook page, that's where you can find out whether we're doing this again uh, and when when it's happening. We're definitely doing it again, but when is it happening? No, it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. So, uh, with that, we're gonna be out. Uh, lots of fun as always, Joe. We'll see you around, man. Yeah, talk to you soon, buddy. All right, stay on the stay on the call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs>